I give you a rating early. It kind of uh, gives you, uh, 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 it activates your account in their database. You can't, you can't report your trades manually at all. But it's basic, what it basically is, a lot of businesses have settled on this uh, when they look at Dun & Bradstreet. If you have a rating nine times out of ten, you bought that rating. Uh, so uh, a lot of the companies are putting a little bit more faith in people who actually are spending money in order to achieve credit. kind of seems immoral, you know, what is it, amoral, morally wrong, whatever it is. It just seems wrong that... In order for my file to look a certain way, I have to pay money. And when you look at and when companies look at my file and, and determine whether I'm credit worthy or not, they look and see basically, okay, well he paid for a rating and he paid for, you know, the credit builder, so he must be okay because he dumped five hundred of it in plus the money that he's ordered from company. So he's already a thousand, two thousand dollars in. He's gotta be a safe bet. So all that does is basically it's almost like vouching. So a lot of people ask me, should I get it? It depends on your situation. If you don't have the cash to get it, don't get it. It won't, it won't overnight, it will not help your situation. Don't get it. And all y'all can consider this like a piece of part six, or you can consider this part six. However, but I'm just going to keep, I can't, I can't squeeze them all into one video. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it to you as I can give it to you. Okay. I only needed to touch on that credit light, credit build the light real, real lightly because, you know, it's really, it's not rocket science. It's just a a, a, mini, a a mini me version of the credit builder. You just can't add up to six trades that you've been doing business with. But forget all that. Okay. Let's reverse the scenario now. Let's say you pay the five hundred dollars. Oh yeah, you got part my ashy knuckles. My knuckles are always there. Say you pay the five hundred dollars. Now, as you probably may obviously be able to tell, now my five companies that I just ordered from. Now, magically, all five of them will pop up right then and there. Three weeks later, I look at my report. I got five people in the 80 paid X. And magically, now, I have a rating. Uh, I don't have, none, of my, none of my trades are dragging out. There's nothing else to sell me. They have other monitoring services. And if you want to report for businesses, you pay a fee. They have a lot of other stuff like that. But now, magically, I've paid, I've, I've paid the toll. And now I'm over the bridge. And that is one thing where it benefits. I mean, it's kind of like extortion, but what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Okay. If you don't pay it, it takes a little longer, like I just explained. Uh, they hit you with two people, then one, two weeks will go by, nothing, then the other one. Once you get that score, they pretty much open the gates. It's, you know, they can't call you telling you, well, you won't have a score, you won't, if you've already got one. So now, hopefully, I've taught you a little bit of how this game is played. Uh, they're probably the only ones doing that. Experion, Experion Business, Equifax Business, they take no part in that. They have the normal services, just like with personal credit. But with Dun & Bradstreet, it's a private corporation, and they, it's just extortion to me. It's my opinion. I'm not putting a bad mouth on them, so please don't send your team of lawyers after me. It's not going to do you any good. Okay. Let me see what else I can touch on. I'm, I like to give people insider stuff because um, I got several people that actually work in the office. I'm not going to say their names. I know they're probably sweating right now. Like, but no, I'm not going. I'm not going to put anybody out there or per se throw anybody under the bus. But here we go. Let's move on to something else. A couple more tricks. I, mean, I, I love giving them out when it comes to me. Granger. Reason you know why I love Granger. Granger reports to Dun and Bradstreet and Experian. So does Uline. Uline, I'm telling you, even, no matter how much of a hard time they give you, if they won't let you get any credit right off top or order something, pay for something for five or ten dollars, it, it it will be worth it. I promise you. They report on both sides of the fence. So if you do like we do and you stra you know strategically target both sides, that way you kill two birds with one stone. Uh, Uline is definitely my my all time favorite for reporting for both. Granger shows love on both from time to time. Uh, there's a couple of more of them out there that, that report to both, but that's later when you get into the, the revolving like Staples, Office Depot, they report to both because it, they have a deal with Dun & Bradstreet and they're also a revolving account, so you get the benefit of both sides of the aisle every time you order from them. But Granger is, is good. Seton, I love Seton. A lot of people don't like Seton because it's the net 10. So it doesn't give you that much of a grace period, but they pop up very fast. I promise you. Try it out for yourself. Today is probably too late. Today is the 26th. It's Saturday. If you ordered about a week ago, maybe the first week, maybe midweek, you know, after that, you know, going into uh, 
October, you'd see Seton on your report. Uh, for all of you that uh, want to put in phone lines and business lines and credit landlines, um, AT and T is okay, but they drag their feet showing up. Uh, Embark is the best. Embark, Sprint, Nextel, anything that's in the Sprint family, they pop up very fast. You know, they pop up very fast. Um, wanted to teach some people about a well-rounded credit report as well. It's just like personal credit, if you if, what, what you would call a, a well-rounded personal credit score or, or file would be, I'm sure like a lot of people know, a couple credit cards, a couple department store cards, a couple gas cards, a couple car, uh, maybe one car loan or some kind of financing or something like that. It has to be a balance to, to make it look really good. Same thing applies in business. So. For all you out there that are shooting for the really big numbers, the six figures and, and, and lines of credit and uh, unsecured, of course, uh, remember this because this is key. Uh, everything you do, you want it to be well-rounded. That's why I was giving you advice about uh, background work on your, comp on your company, actually putting that background in, uh, registering for every single site known to man that you possibly can. Um, I mean, everything. Uh, putting, up, putting up a website, even if it's a free one, one of those free websites, go to the website, free web submission uh, links. You can just Google out the word free website submission. Even submit that free site into the, the, into the system. Name it the same name as your business. You know, when it asks you the name of your website, name it the same name as your business. So when the databases pull it, it, it comes up familiar. It's, it's, it's a great thing to be everywhere, you know, like because, you know, they sell leads. And they, the marketers buy up these leads, they collect your name, your information, just like they do when you go to the supermarket and you use those little MVP cards. They collect everything. And everybody crosses, you know, there's a movie about, I think it's computers or something like I think it's hackers, where they say you're doing nothing and your name goes to thousands of computers in one day. All your information just is, is passed back and forth and is dealt back and forth. So you want to spread it out. It's like mass marketing. Even though it's just to, you know, just to get your business out there. You want the bank that you plan on going to to have heard of you before. You can't just walk in off the street saying, look, I got three people in a paydex score. I got two people reporting on Experian. I have no idea what my Equifax file is. And I need $100,000. It's not going to work like that. Best strategic way to hammer that out, a couple steps. Gboogie.net, I'm putting them up there. You can go there now. You can follow a couple of steps. And we're just going to keep this. This going to be a living website. It's, gonna, it's never going to die every day we're going to post something and hopefully everybody can follow it and wherever you are in life or wherever you are in your business situation you can pick it up from there and run with the ball and we'll all block for you mm, 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 mm. so G Boogie on location again I'm in a different place it's no palm trees this time got a long sleeve shirt on day and um, like you see we're, I'm in a hotel on location I'm always at a different spot uh, we're shooting some real estate videos. I'm not even going to plug those right now. Uh, what I want to say before I wrap it up, uh, I leave these I leave these videos out here so people can comment on them. So that way it gives me, that's why it's been a while, it gives me a, a pool of questions to address at one time. I'm trying to think of any more before I go. But I just want to tell everybody, gboogie.net, remember that net because it'll catch you if you fall every time. And I'm, I'm trying my best to get you to know what I know. Uh, even if we, I have to do some kind of Vulcan mind meld and, 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 and I'll plant it in your brain, microchip style, whatever. I want you to know what I know. And um, in reference to the other video that I was put, I, I, I commented on a little bit about the super business since this is kind of like part six. Um, Super business for my subscribers. I don't, I don't know how much tape I have, but we'll touch on it until it runs out. So if it cuts off on me, I'm not going to edit it. I'm going to put it out just like it is. So I'm just letting you know now if it cuts off, I'm not going to make another video until I make another video. Okay, let's see if we can go fast then. Um, okay, super business. Don't anybody get any bright ideas. Don't anybody steal my idea. Can't, can't, like my man said, how, when has it been cool for Daniel's son? To, to to you know saying to, to disrespect Mr. Miyagi. So don't don't steal my don't steal my ideas. If anything, get down because I actually have the blueprint for it. I've been doing this for a long time. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. These companies I named you are my starting five, uh Seton, Uline, Rapid Forms, Bags and Bowls, Granger, even GoPro 